this God, is he independent by necessity, necessarily, or by choice? And in Jesus, he Excuse chose me, stop, stop, stop. So now tell me, what is invalid in my premises, in my argument? Do you disagree that God is necessarily self-sufficient and independent? You're using stuff about God. Are you saying you don't know what self-sufficient means? That Are you saying you don't know what independent means? You're, you're trying to apply these things. You're, you're no, no. trying to apply these things. If you don't know the meanings of these terms, God, you're trying to put God in a box. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm actually trying, trying to, to put God up, as He is. Trying so to let, open up the box. So let me let me let me explain. Do you accept God is not dependent yes. on anything or yes. anyone? Yes. Right? Yes. That means He's independent. Yes. Do you also accept that God is self-sufficient? He doesn't need anyone to be, for him to be brought into existence. Yes. And I'm saying God has to be necessarily. Do you accept that? That he has to be necessary. It's not by choice that he's independent. He's necessarily independent and self-sufficient. Well, he is. Is he by choice or by, by necessity? But hang on. Suddenly you're saying that you're saying there's rules. You disagree? That, no, you disagree with the premises. No, but about you're now God. applying rules over do God. Do you know God? You're, you're applying rules to God. No, no, about God. So do you say God is someone who will cease to exist? Uh, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on. brother, brother, brother. Do, do you think, right, that God could create a a, a stone? Brother, but that's that not. No, 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 no. no so don't confuse. Do you believe? Don't that? confuse this, brother. This excuse, don't me. Confuse this is, excuse me. Excuse me. This is what you're I call confusing the issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you say yeah. no, yeah. then you're applying. No, no, no. You're confusing the issue. Let's let's make it simple for Frank. Yeah. Do you accept there are certain things which are true for only God? Of course. Right. Is God necessarily self-sufficient and independent? I, I don't like that necessarily. So that means, is it by choice you're, you're then? Trying to, you're trying to... Let, let, me, let me help you out then. Is God independent by choice? Well, let's, let's, let, we know God No, 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 no. I'm not going to move anywhere else, no, Frank. No. This is not the online Zoom sessions. <laughs> this is Speaker's Corner. So I'm going to ask you this question. If you are open for it, we have a discussion otherwise. So, because you want to have a discussion, when you here, say necessarily, you're, I will explain. you're trying to make your logic no, I will explain. apply rules to God. I will explain. And I'm saying, I'm not going to do that. No, I will explain. Either God is by his own choice independent, or he could choose otherwise not to be independent. Are you saying God can exercise his choice and you know what? I can be dependent or I can be independent. Is the choice of God appropriate here, relevant here, applicable here? Well, in Jesus, yes. Because I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about God. Because, because Any being that is going to be at least called worthy of called being God, this God, is he independent by necessity, necessarily, or by choice? God is independent, and in Jesus, he's Excuse me, stop, 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 stop. <clears throat> this reality of ours, we are all dependent. We are all contingent. The only explanation of our existence can be necessarily dependent on something that is independent, by necessity, by necessity. This, Do you agree or disagree? This, is this Muslim teaching that's in the Quran or is it, this is philosophy? You common must, sense, you, you Frank. If you, don't, if you don't have common sense, this is I cannot give it to you. Common sense universal. is something you have. Either you have it or you don't. So let me let me tell you. This is either you have Frank Frank. Wait, stop stop. This stop. is not common sense. Frank, you're you're Frank, talking philosophy. Frank, you're applying stuff to God. Frank, you listen. Say common sense. Frank Frank. Are you saying? And it's not in the, this Frank, is the teaching in the Quran. Frank, listen. Are you Mansour? Suggesting? Mansour, I can chat back at you. Look, listen, you're, Frank, you're telling me stuff okay. that's not in the Quran. We'll, we'll, we'll depart okay. because okay, yep. I don't think you're capable enough to have no, a discussion I meaningfully. Don't, I think you're telling me. You're, no, no, I am. You're I am. To, I, you're I'm just. I'm, I'm making this assertion Islam. that e, either yourself, you are unwilling to have a discussion based on common sense because you know it's a matter of common sense, because um, you're so Mansour, afraid. You, uh, let me finish my point, Frank. Let me finish my point. Common sense, Frank. Let me finish my point. Or there's something else going on. Look, if you truly, genuinely want to have a meaningful discussion, what I am asking for is not rocket science. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand that if we exist here all dependent, the only reasonable explanation can be that we have to depend on something that is independent. Because if we depend on something dependent, the question starts again. What does that dependent thing depends on? 
eventually it has to depend on something that is independent. So it is not rocket science or philosophy. So, so far, wait, this, is, wait, this wait, is Christian wait, theology. Wait, so wait, far, this is Christian theology. Wait, right. Wait, wait. So we have to accept by reason intellectual discussion that we are having, but God has to be necessarily independent and self-sufficient. You are disagreeing with that premise because you know no, I've already made my argument. I'm not disagreeing Let me finish. With that. Let me finish. I've made my argument in three steps. Jesus necessarily is not self-sufficient. You know that. He's not. That is why any Christian that comes here with sense and reason will have to admit Jesus is not God. So I'm going to ask you again. Do you disagree that God is necessarily self-sufficient and independent? I agree with that. You agree. Good. But the Quran doesn't teach hang it. On, hang on, hang on. The Quran does not teach it. Good, that. good. So you agree with the first premise. My second premise. Jesus is necessarily not self-sufficient and independent. Do you agree or disagree? Jesus, the man that came to earth, was Jesus, God. the person. Jesus, the person in his eternal existence. In all is of his he, In his, all of his manifestations. Is he necessarily independent or dependent? Self-sufficient or not self-sufficient? I say he is not independent, he is not self-sufficient by necessary, necessarily. Do you agree or disagree? No, I don't disagree with that at all. I, say, then, I don't agree with that at all. Why? Because I think, I think you have no idea what Jesus is so, before he came on earth. So, so now you've you're seen, saying... You've seen okay. Jesus on earth. So let's now talk about it. You don't so know. Jesus, before the earth was created, he is independent and self-sufficient. That means he doesn't need the Father or the Son even to be in existence for Jesus to be there. He's part of the one existence. Hear me out. Jesus, he's if, he, if he's ever going to be labelled as independent and self-sufficient, it follows that he doesn't need even the existence of the Father or the Holy Spirit for his own existence. Is that right? No, because then you're teaching polytheism. Hang on. You're, te are you're teaching polytheism. Frank, now, are you telling me... he's getting it. Frank, are you now telling me Jesus is dependent on the Father for his existence? They are one being. No. Is he dependent on the Father they're or is he independent being. of the Father? Yeah, they're one being and you have no idea. My question to you, Frank, without waffling, this is speaker's corner, not online Zoom session. The word I'm using to you specifically is dependent or independent. If you don't know what the meaning is, I can show you the dictionary meaning. But I do know you know what it means. Is Jesus dependent on the Father or is he independent on the Father? Jesus is the man on earth. You cannot... Is he dependent on the Father or is he independent on the Father before he created the whole universe, according to you? So I am not going to restrict Jesus as a man, Jesus as the Logos, which existed, according to you, before the foundation of this world. So at that point, is Jesus dependent on the Father or is he independent? There is no way out, Frank. You say he's dependent or you say he's independent? Well, I can say he's not independent. So he's they're dependent. One being, they're one being. So because he's not independent, so my premise is true. Yeah. Then he is not God. Well done. You just proven my no, point. No, no, we haven't finished yet. We have. We haven't finished. What, what is there to discuss? If Jesus is not necessarily self-sufficient and independent, he cannot be God because God is necessarily self-sufficient and independent. Is the, is the left hemisphere of my brain dependent on me? Listen, Jesus is not self-sufficient and independent god is therefore jesus is not god is that rocket science to understand that is the left is the left hemisphere. i'm not going to talk about your left hemisphere or right hemisphere i have laid down my premises for my argument if you don't know about this argument before you will learn to in speaker's corner today now try mansoor is preaching to himself he thinks he's got a very good point here but he's not answering the question. Neither are you. Is Jesus... Is my, is my left hemisphere... Jesus, Jesus is not God because he's not self-sufficient. So left, you do accept that? Is the left hemisphere of my brain dependent on me? Hmm? Is who's left, you? Is the left who's, who's you? Huh? Who's you? What do you mean, who am I? Yeah, when you say dependent on you, who's you? Is, is the, is, well, I'm just asking. Yes or no? No, no. Who is you? Huh? Me. Me who? You can see me. No, me who? Me, 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 me the man, me the okay, spirit, okay, me, me the body. Let me use you. Is, your, is the left hemisphere of your brain mm. dependent on you? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Dependent for what? Wait, just a sec. The left hemisphere of your brain. Yeah. Did you create it? No. Well, no. Okay. Then, then, then the analogy doesn't work. Right. Yeah? My the brain. Did God work. create Jesus? No, they're one. 
Did he create Jesus? Huh? Did he create Jesus? Did he create one. Jesus? Did, no. Okay, did God, they're one. Did God cause Jesus into existence? No, they're one. But did he cause he, him into existence? When he comes to the earth. My question is not about earth. is he one or two? It's a different question, Frank. When he's on earth. If you don't understand English, let me tell you what a different question is. Is Jesus caused by the Father into existence? 